Welcome to this video on the story of Claude Monet, personal life, famous paintings, trivia. Claude Monet was a French painter and one of the founders of the Impressionist movement. He was born on November 14, 1840 in Paris, France and died on December 5, 1926 in Giverny, France. Monet's early work was typically Impressionist in style, but he later developed his own unique techniques and style. Monet's family moved to Le Havre, France when he was a child and it was there that he first became interested in art. He began taking art lessons at the age of 11 and later studied at the École des Beaux-Arts in Paris. In the early 1860s, Monet traveled to London and was influenced by the work of John Constable and Joseph Mallard William Turner. Monet returned to France in the mid-1860s and began exhibiting his work with the Impressionists, a group of artists who rejected the traditional techniques and subjects of the Academy and instead focused on painting modern life and the changing natural world. Monet's most famous works are his series of paintings of water lilies, haystacks, and the Rouen Cathedral, all of which he painted at different times throughout his career. In addition to his artistic pursuits, Monet was also a committed environmentalist and worked to preserve the natural beauty of the area around his home in Giverny. He is considered one of the most important figures in the history of modern art, and his work continues to be widely admired and influential today. Claude Monet's father was a merchant and his mother was a singer. When Monet was five years old, his family moved to the port city of Le Havre in Normandy, France. It was in Le Havre that Monet first became interested in art. He took his first art lessons at the age of 11 and later studied at the École des Beaux-Arts in Paris. In the early 1860s, Monet traveled to London and was influenced by the work of John Constable, and Joseph Mallard William Turner. He returned to France in the mid-1860s and began exhibiting his work with the Impressionists, a group of artists who rejected the traditional techniques and subjects of the Academy and instead focused on painting modern life and the changing natural world. Monet's early work was typically Impressionist in style, but he later developed his own unique techniques and style. Claude Monet had a tumultuous personal life, he was married twice and had several children. His first wife was Camille Dancia, whom he married in 1870. They had two children together, but Camille died in 1879 at the age of 32. Monet was devastated by her death and memorialized her in several of his paintings, including Camille and Camille Monet on her deathbed. Monet's second wife was Alice Hosked, with whom he had two children. Alice was the daughter of one of Monet's patrons and had been married to a wealthy merchant before her husband's business failed. Monet and Alice fell in love and were married in 1892. In addition to his artistic pursuits, Monet was also a committed environmentalist and worked to preserve the natural beauty of the area around his home in Giverny. He is considered one of the most important figures in the history of modern art, and his work continues to be widely admired and influential today. Claude Monet spent much of his life in Paris, France and was closely associated with the city. In the 1860s, Monet was part of the Impressionist movement, which was centered in Paris, and he exhibited his work with the Impressionists in several shows in the city. Monet also spent some time in Algeria, a country in North Africa. In the late 1870s, Monet and a group of other Impressionist artists, including Pierre-Auguste Renoir and Alfred Sisley, traveled to Algeria to paint. The group spent several weeks in the country and Monet produced a number of paintings of the Algerian landscape and its people. Upon his return to France, Monet exhibited some of his Algerian paintings in a solo show in Paris. These paintings were well received and helped to establish Monet's reputation as an important artist. Claude Monet spent the last 43 years of his life living in Giverny, a small village in Normandy, France. He purchased a house and property in Giverny in 1883 and moved there with his family. Monet was drawn to Giverny because of its beautiful countryside and the natural beauty of the area. Monet's home in Giverny became a hub of artistic activity, and he welcomed many other artists and writers to visit him there. He also spent a great deal of time and effort cultivating the gardens around his home, planting a variety of flowers and trees and creating a Japanese-style garden and a large pond filled with water lilies. Monet's gardens at Giverny were a source of great inspiration for him and he painted many of his most famous works, including the Water Lily series. While living there, the gardens are now open to the public and are known as the Jardins de Monet. The house has been preserved as it was during Monet's lifetime and is now a museum, the Musée Claude Monet, dedicated to the life and work of the artist. About Claude Monet's most famous paintings, Claude Monet is known for his series of paintings of water lilies, haystacks, and the Rouen Cathedral, all of which he painted at different times throughout his career. 
Monet's water lily paintings are some of his most famous and iconic works. He painted these works in the last 30 years of his life when he was living in Giverny, France. Monet's water lily pond was a source of great inspiration for him and he painted it in various seasons and at different times of day. The water lily paintings are known for their vibrant colors and the way Monet captured the reflections of the flowers and the surrounding landscape on the surface of the water. Monet's series of haystack paintings are another well-known body of work. He painted these works in the 1890s when he was living in Giverny. Monet was fascinated by the way the light played on the haystacks at different times of day and painted them at sunrise, sunset, and in the middle of the day. These paintings are known for their soft, muted colors and the way Monet captured the subtle changes in light and atmosphere. Monet's series of paintings of the Rouen Cathedral are also highly regarded. He painted the cathedral at different times of day and in different weather conditions, capturing the changing light and atmosphere. These paintings are known for their bold colors and the way Monet captured the play of light on the cathedral's stone facade. Claude Monet was known for his series of garden paintings, which he produced while living in Giverny, France. Monet was a passionate gardener and spent a great deal of time and effort cultivating the gardens around his home. He was particularly fond of water lilies and planted a large pond in his garden specifically so he could paint them. Monet's garden paintings are known for their vibrant colors and the way he captured the reflections of the flowers and the surrounding landscape on the surface of the water. Some of his most famous garden paintings include the Water Lily series, which he worked on for many years, as well as his series of haystack paintings and his series of paintings of the Rouen Cathedral. Monet's garden paintings are considered some of his greatest works and are highly prized by collectors and art enthusiasts. They are widely admired for their beauty and for the way Monet captured the essence of the natural world in his art. Monet's water lily paintings are known for their vibrant colors and the way he captured the reflections of the flowers and the surrounding landscape on the surface of the water. The paintings are also notable for the way Monet used loose, expressive brushstrokes to depict the flowers and the water. The water lily series is considered one of Monet's greatest achievements, and his water lily paintings are some of the most highly prized and admired works in the history of art. They are widely regarded as masterpieces of Impressionist painting and are an enduring symbol of Monet's artistic vision. During the period from 1873 to 1886, Claude Monet produced a number of notable paintings. Some of the most famous works from this period include Impression, Sunrise, this painting, which is considered one of Monet's most important works, depicts the port of Le Havre in France at sunrise. It is one of the first paintings Monet produced in the Impressionist style and is the work that gave the Impressionist movement its name. The Woman in the Green Dress, this portrait depicts Monet's first wife, Camille Dancia, and is one of the artist's most personal and intimate works. It is known for its delicate brushwork and the subtle, expressive use of color. The Garden at Argentule, this painting depicts Monet's garden at his home in Argentule, France, and is notable for its bright, vibrant colors and the way Monet captured the reflections of the flowers and trees on the surface of the water. The Artist's Garden at Vethuel, this painting depicts Monet's garden at his home in Vethuel, France, and is known for its soft, muted colors and the way Monet captured the subtle changes in light and atmosphere. The Haystacks, this series of paintings depicts haystacks in Monet's garden at Giverny and is known for its soft, muted colors and the way Monet captured the subtle changes in light and atmosphere. Here are a few little known facts about Claude Monet. Monet was a notoriously poor businessman and struggled financially throughout his life. Despite the success he achieved as an artist, he was often in debt and had to rely on the generosity of friends and patrons to support him. Monet was a passionate gardener and spent a great deal of time and effort cultivating the gardens around his home in Giverny. He was particularly fond of water lilies and planted a large pond in his garden specifically so he could paint them. Monet was a close friend of the French composer Claude Debussy and was the inspiration for Debussy's Claire de Lune piano suite. Monet suffered from cataracts in his later years and underwent several surgeries to correct his vision. Despite this, he continued to paint and even created some of his most famous works, such as the water lily paintings, after he had developed cataracts. Monet was a strong advocate for the preservation of the environment and worked to protect the natural beauty of the area around his home in Giverny. He donated a portion of his land to the French government to be used as a public park after his death. Here are a few trivia facts about Claude Monet. Monet was a prolific artist and is estimated to have produced more than 2,500 paintings over the course of his career. Monet was a pioneer of the Impressionist movement and was one of the first artists to embrace the style. He was also a key figure in the development of the French Impressionist movement and is considered one of the greatest Impressionist painters of all time. Monet was a close friend of the French writer Émile Zola and the two men were often seen walking 
and talking together in the streets of Paris. Monet was a passionate gardener and spent a great deal of time and effort cultivating the gardens around his home in Giverny. He was particularly fond of water lilies and planted a large pond in his garden specifically so he could paint them. Monet was a strong advocate for the preservation of the environment and worked to protect the natural beauty of the area around his home in Giverny. He donated a portion of his land to the French government to be used as a public park after his death. The Musée Claude Monet is a museum in Giverny, France that is dedicated to the life and work of the French Impressionist painter Claude Monet. The museum is located in Monet's former home, which he purchased in 1883 and lived in until his death in 1926. The house and gardens have been preserved as they were during Monet's lifetime and are open to the public. The museum houses a collection of Monet's paintings, including some of his most famous works such as the Water Lily paintings and the Haystack paintings. The museum also has a collection of Monet's personal possessions, including his palette, brushes, and other art supplies. In addition to the main museum, the property also includes Monet's gardens, which he designed and planted himself. The gardens, which are now known as the Jardins de Monet, are open to the public and include a water lily pond, a Japanese-style garden, and a variety of flowers and plants. The Musée Claude Monet is a popular tourist destination and attracts visitors from all over the world who are interested in Monet's life and work. Paintings by Claude Monet can be seen in museums and art galleries all over the world. Some of the most famous museums that have collections of Monet's work include the Musée d'Orsay in Paris, France, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City, and the National Gallery in London, England. In addition to these major museums, there are also many smaller museums and galleries that have collections of Monet's work. For example, the Musée Claude Monet in Giverny, France is dedicated specifically to the life and work of Monet and has a large collection of his paintings. If you are interested in seeing paintings by Monet, it is worth checking with local museums and galleries in your area to see if they have any on display. Monet's work is highly sought after and is often included in exhibitions of Impressionist and modern art.